Good morning to you. I'm Jessica Nall in the Virginia This Morning Kitchen, of course, and ready for some magic from Terrence West, Chef Danny Kelly. Hey, hey I'm Greg McQuay, Chef Kelly, serving a pan-seared rockfish this morning. He's joined by Sean Raposa, pouring the perfect pairing for this dish ahead of the autumn wine dinner tomorrow evening at Terrence West, uh, West which is a fantastic venue out there in the uh, west uh, of Henrico. Great to see you, Sean. Danny, pleasure. Pleasure. All right, where do we begin, man? We'll get your pan sizzling hot. Sizzling hot. We'll start with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And Chef, you're working with rockfish today. Tell me about, I, was, I told you I was going to ask you this early. How does yeah. rockfish kind of stand on its own? What makes it its own thing? Well, this rockfish is actually from the Chesapeake Bay. It's actually striped bass. Um, in restaurant terms, we call it rockfish. Yeah, what, what, what makes it a rockfish, Danny? Uh, it hides in the rocks. Really? As simple well, as that? Simple as so that. So tough to find. That's why wait, it's expensive. Wait a second. All this time I have been ordering rockfish thinking, well, that's a rockfish. No, it just hangs out in the rocks. Yeah. That makes it a rockfish. It's really bass? Yes, ma'am. See, it's a big Wednesday already. I, I didn't I, know I that. need to drink over that. I know, Where, really. The champagne? There we go. <laughs> Sean is uh, opening up some uh, wine here. Uh, this is, is it a thin cut? Because some of the uh, rockfish that I've seen, pretty, pretty thick pieces. We get small portions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get small fish. It's more tender. A little flakier. All right. A nice thin cut makes it cook a little bit quicker. You've got an autumnal wine dinner coming up, Sean, at the restaurant. And this is a lot of fun. Terrence West is set up with a space. You go in, you're able to learn about wine. And you know, I think sometimes we have that tendency to think wine's kind of stuffy, but it makes it more approachable. Right, yeah. Uh, we're featuring Barbersville wines at uh, this particular wine dinner, so local. Uh, the winemaker there, Luca, is really awesome. They work with a lot of Italian varietals. Uh, this one that we're going to pair with the rockfish is called Vermentino. And traditionally, it's from grown on the shores of Tuscany, so it uh, goes really well with seafood. It's got a, what they call minerality, which is a, mm -hmm. a pretty vague term, but it prevents itself <laughs> as almost like a, a sea salt brininess. So uh -huh. it's the ideal accompaniment for seafood and should go really well with this rockfish. Excellent. Fantastic. Let's pour it up. We'll put the champagne down there. For now. Oh, that's right. Oh, geez, so, yeah, what am I doing? Got I got it. lost in the rockfish for a moment. Chef, you're a pretty new addition to the team here at Terrence West. It's been a neat transition. What's it like for you as a chef coming up with a okay. menu uh, for the fall? This is a fun time of year. There's a lot of different things to work with. Yeah, it's fun. We actually were doing bourbon glazed pork chops, a lot of salads with sweet potatoes, butternut squash, things like that. Definitely trying to introduce the fall flavors to the menu. So it's farm to table or still like what's fresh to table, but it gives you a different bit of vegetables and things to work exactly. with. Exactly. Really cool. Sean, tell us, can you break the mold? You've always heard white wine with seafood, but can you go red? Or is Absolutely. it really, or people look at you funny when you uh, order red if you have a uh, piece of rockfish on your plate? You know, when I say white is traditional, but uh, there are a few reds that would go well. Uh, Beaujolais. Um, made from the Gamay grape. It's really light like Pinot Noir, so mm -hmm. we think of Pinot Noir with salmon as a really classic accompaniment, and uh, Beaujolais has that high acid that works really well with seafood and would be a, a good pairing. This is fantastic. It too, is by really the way. good, and I would say it's kind of like neutral. It's kind of just like a light, approachable. Is that because of what's going into this dish? Like the rockfish is, is kind of the base for what's going to be happening, right, Chef? Yes, ma'am. What else are you adding in? So we do brown rice. Um, from Elwood Thompson, actually. And then we do just a medley of sauteed vegetables, broccoli, yellow squash, green beans, tomatoes. So when the fish is just about to be done. Mm -hmm. And it looks perfect. We take it out, we plate it. We get rid of a little bit of the oil. Mm -hmm. And then we hit it with... Um, oh, hello. Hey hello. Wine. Goodness. Oh, you're, okay, so a little wine in there. Wow. Why, why, why the wine? Just to bring out the flavor that you're already having in your glass? Exactly, and it gets some of the bits off the bottom of the pan, which will create some more flavor. And I like to do a lot where we do the wine that we're going to serve with it. Oh, it's the wine that we okay. make with this sauce. So a little bit of tomatoes, mm -hmm. some capers, oh, or uh, capers. artichokes, sorry. Artichokes. Yum. Olives. So this one's going to be a little little salty. Yes. Has yeah. a, a little Mediterranean flair as well over there. Maybe a little more. Salty like a few friends I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, briny. <laughs> not Greg. We're not talking about Greg right now. So, so these all just kind of come together exactly. in that in wine that you've got. Mm -hmm. And you're not really ham. cooking it. You're just warming them up, bringing out all the flavor. And then right once it gets about hot, hit it with a little bit of butter. Oh, man, it's getting better. 
with butter. Slowly melt the butter. And Sean, this is one of several courses during the upcoming dinner. We are doing a rockfish. Are you doing this same preparation? We are actually Jeff? doing broccolini with um, broccolini. Okay. a pan sauce the same way, and we're using mm -hmm. the vermentino for the recipe. And Sean, it just gives people an opportunity to uh, try some uh, try some different foods that they might not dip their toe in. Absolutely, we've got some really fun stuff. The uh, first course is going to be uh, local oysters, mm -hmm. and we're going to pair that with a sparkling rosé from Barbersville. A really classic pairing, mm -hmm. sparkling wine and oysters, and uh, oysters are really great this time of year. Look it's at this. This is a work of art right there. It really is. That's gorgeous. And the wines of Barbersville mm -hmm. are very well known. That's really one of the wineries that put Virginia on the map. Absolutely is. They do really fun stuff. Uh, a lot of Italian, um, but they also do a great Cabernet Franc, which is, you know, one of Virginia's great grapes, along with Viognier, and then they do the Octagon, which is their version of like a... Uh, a Bordeaux, it's a blend, um, and that one has taken home the Governor's Cup and won several uh, national yeah, wine awards that, as that, well. That is a superb yeah, wine right that's there. fantastic. And if you get down there and you squint, you're almost like you're in the hills of Italy as well, down there in uh, <laughs> close to Charlottesville. After I'm a couple in, it's glasses. Great. So couple of glasses, you'll be anywhere, right? Yeah, a couple right? of glasses and you can squint your way to Tuscany. I like that. Hey, thanks Thank so you much, so gentlemen. Much. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank we got some information right here. The Autumn Barbersville Wine Dinner with Jason Tassaro is uh, coming up tomorrow evening at Terrence West in the West End of Richmond. Five courses with pairings beginning at six. Tickets still available for $75 per person. Jason, we know him. He is going to be fantastic. There will be a direct link later today on WTVR.com slash VT.